Hi, welcome to Chemistry 1001, talking about thermodynamics. What we're going to do here is have a quick look at a table of standard molar free energy changes of formation. What is a standard free energy change of formation? It's given this symbol here, delta F G naught. And what it is, is exactly what you expect. The formation, free energy of formation of a substance, uh, of a compound, usually one mole of a compound, uh, from its component elements uh, when they're in their standard states. Okay, so for that we know that the free energy of formation of an element is going to be zero in its standard state. So for hydrogen gas, well the hydrogen gas, H2 in its standard state, delta G of formation, assuming it's a gas at the particular temperature, zero. Likewise, oxygen and nitrogen. Uh, here's the free energy of formation of carbon dioxide. Formation of carbon dioxide from what, you say? Well, from carbon in its standard state, which is graphite, zero, and from oxygen in its standard state, which is O2. Uh, actually, we probably should say in its uh, reference state. So in this case, we have uh, carbon dioxide, uh, and that is its free energy of formation per mole. We can calculate that from delta H and T delta S if we want to, but there are tables of these available. So that's really rather nice, especially if you want to figure out if the reaction is spontaneous or not. Notice here diamond has a free energy of formation of 2.9 kilojoules per mole, uh, kilojoules per mole, so quite a bit higher than graphite, uh, and that says that it's unstable relative to graphite by that rather, well, relatively large amount there. So generally speaking, uh, the formation of substances with chemical bonds uh, is negative relative to the elements from which they come from. That is, when you form chemical bonds, that tends to be a process by which uh, energy is uh, released. In other words, we can get work from the chemical energy stored, the potential energy stored in the chemical bonds. That's the meaning of the negative numbers here. That means energy is stored. Work energy can be extracted from the chemical bonds in these materials. That's all there is to that.